NRL fans and AFL fans just really don't get each other, do they? What's that? Football. Bull dust. If that's football, why aren't they bleeding? <laughs> look, look at it. Found a broken nose among them. It's not rugby. It's real football. Australian rules. I would make the point that actually, if you're an AFL fan and from someone that's that is a football person, as in soccer, uh, I get the impression that AFL has plenty of blood and, and guts and everything as well, to be fair. But clearly, NRL is that little little higher level on, on bleeding. Real football? Ha! Look at them. Bunch of pansies skipping around their little sister's shorts. <laughs> That's so true. That is so true. That is one of the reasons why Charlie likes watching it, because they wear such short shorts. Oh, look out. One of the puffs has thrown a tiz and kicked the ball into the crowd. <laughs> Oh, are they shouting at you, are they, Tinkerbell? <laughs> Never mind, your boyfriend's giving you a big hug. <laughs> All better. He just scored a goal. <laughs> Gorn. Look at them. The other side are a bit weak, aren't they? One goal and they surrender. See? The coach is waving a white flag. <laughs> That's the That's goal, the umpire. Goal umpire. <laughs> Hello. They've stopped. What are they doing now? Oh, the poor little things are all puffed out. It's three-quarter time. Well, who's he? What sort of footballer wears a suit? That's Ron Barassi. <laughs> <laughs> I get that reference. I get that reference. Basically, Ron Barassi is storming onto the pitch to have a go at his players. That is what is happening. The manager is coming on to give them a real kick up the backside. And I love the, the AFL fan in this. Yes, and God help the players. <laughs> He's the coach. Coach in a suit. Bull. He's the hairdresser bringing on the hot rollers and gossamer. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody stupid game and it'll never catch on. Well, at least it's real football. At least they kick the ball. Real footballers, rugby footballers don't kick the ball. They kick the groin. <laughs> Of course, they're tough. Rugby players are so tough, they train in barbed wire jock straps. <laughs> it's true. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I, 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 think, I think, actually, I think that sort of attitude probably has slightly changed over time. But you still get the aerial ping pong sort of comments. And, and it is interesting how... You know, look, I do a lot of watch-alongs for, for Rugby League and for AFL. And you, I will I will very, very rarely get the same people watching the AFL watch-alongs and the NRL watch-alongs or the Super League watch-alongs because they've just got no interest in, 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 in the other sport. Whereas I actually love both. I love both. I've come from a football, soccer background, and I absolutely love league and I love... Uh, love AFL and I love Union and it does seem like fans of those sports can only enjoy that sport and not enjoy the other sports which is I think it's a shame I think it's a shame because all of them are such brilliant sports and you can get something from from all of them I enjoy different things about each of those sports uh, so it's a shame it's a shame. Are you one of these people that only likes one specific sport? Or are you happy and open-minded to enjoy all of them? Let me know in the comments down below. And I will catch you next time.